The pH or potential of hydrogen levels is one of the most important balance systems of our body. It's a measure of the amount of hydrogen ions in a particular solution. The more ions, the more acidic the solution. And the less ions, the more alkaline or base the solution is. So the pH level is basically a measure of acidity and alkalinity on a scale from 0 to 14, with 0 being the most acidic, 14 the most alkaline, and 7 being mid-range or neutral. It's a big deal. The higher the pH, the higher the H3O plus or protonized water will be. While moving up one pH level to the next simply just looks like a one unit change, it's actually a 10 times difference. So starting from neutral, of course, any single movement towards the acidic side will increase in H3O levels by 10 times. And any increase in the alkaline side will also increase in H3O levels by 10 times. Looking at it like this, it's easier to see just how sensitive a change in pH can be. In fact, our blood's pH is one of the most sensitive to any change in pH. Our blood's pH must always range between 7.35 and 7.45. As you can see from this diagram, a slight decimal change in pH of blood can cause serious illness or even death. This is a true balancing act. Acidity and alkalinity are complete opposites and neutral is neither acid or alkaline. Mixing an acetic substance like vinegar with a pH of 2 to an alkaline substance like baking soda with a pH of 9 will cause a chemical reaction. The two will eat away at each other and will create a new substance with a completely different chemistry. When they come together, they will immediately balance each other out and meet at a pH somewhere in the middle of the two. This is the reason why it's termed pH balance. The reaction will create liquid water or H2O and carbon dioxide gas or CO2. The bubbles in the frizzing you see is the water and carbon dioxide gas. Human hair is known to have a slight acidic pH of about 5. But just like with most things, it varies among people. Some individuals here, or better said sebum, have been shown to have a pH of about 3 while others can have a pH all the way up to 6.6. .6. Regardless of where your hair pH falls, just keep in mind that everyone has hair that is slightly to moderately acidic. Introducing a relaxer, which is extremely alkaline to your hair, that's moderately acidic, will change the chemistry of your hair and make it more alkaline. This will dramatically lift and even eat away at your protective cuticle layers. Remember what happened when I mixed vinegar, which is acidic, with baking soda, which is alkaline together? Now imagine what's going on when you put an alkaline relaxer on your acidic hair strands. Relaxers of all strengths and brands are engineered to eat away at your cuticles because it's the only way the chemical can reach inside your cortex to permanently straighten your hair. Over time, you will have to trim off extremely damaged hair. After this two-part series on pH balance, I'll be doing a video that will go over the details on exactly what relaxers are doing to your hair. This video will provide you with a clear visual on exactly what is happening when a relaxer comes in contact with your hair. When many of us hear the word aesthetic, we envision a chemical eaten away through something. It sounds a bit scary and like something you want to stay away from. While any extreme in both directions is very harmful and dangerous for your hair, any alkaline pH or what I like to call pH swings are what we really need to be more educated about when it comes to hair care. Stay tuned for part two of this two-part series on pH balance where I will go over why you should care and specifically what this all means to your regimen and your day-to-day -day activities with your hair. As always, thanks for watching. Did you know that I'm now posting daily natural hair facts on Twitter? Follow at Green Beauty Talk on Twitter. Some of the natural hair facts may surprise you.